The animal care for education program um, consists of all of the animals that we use in teaching our pre-veterinary students. Pretty much all of the live animal interactions that our students have outside of the clinics happen within the umbrella of the animal care for education program. Just recently with the animal instructor program we started utilizing um, community members um, for our small animal and that's something that's changing with a lot of veterinary schools. This was one way that we felt like we could engage the community, we could get our students you know, engaging with clients a lot earlier in the curriculum, working on that critical communication piece. Um, so it, it really, um, it met a lot of our goals as to how we wanted to see the curriculum progress. It was really exciting because I finally got to apply what we've been learning in class. So it started to feel a little more real. It was super nerve wracking. Um, so leading up to it, we were all like nerves, shaky, crazy. Um, but then once we got in there, it's super exciting. For me, it was really nice because I got to take some skills that I've done before, and that made it a little more comfortable, but then I got to practice new skills that I've never done before. I'm definitely a hands-on learner. Hands-on and visual are super important for me, um, and I think these labs are extremely important so that we can learn how to do things and see things, not just from lectures or PowerPoints or textbooks that we may have read, but we get the real life experience being able to learn all of those things in a more of like a high stress environment and learning how to act under that pressure and perform under that pressure is really important. I think Blacksburg is such a good area for us to study in. I feel like they're a really welcoming environment. So any opportunity that we get to give back um, and let them kind of peek into to what they've been supporting is, is a great opportunity. I have people out in public telling me all the time how much they love the vet school teaching hospital. So it's, it's nice that they actually get to participate in it and we get to give back and give them a little bit of free care. For the spay lab last semester, it was my very first spay and we had the sweetest little girl come in. Um, well, her owner was a nurse and she understood how exciting the moment was for us being in a teaching hospital herself. And so when we um, brought the dog back out to her, she had three little goodie bags waiting for all three of my partners and so she had a, a thank you card and she had handmade scrub caps for us and it was the sweetest little thing and because you know we need permission to take photos of dogs she ended up printing out a photo of her dog for each three of us and I have it framed in my room to this day. Our, our patients are our biz, biggest educator, right? You know, what they're telling us is part of what our job is to figure out what they're saying. Um, also, our clients are really good educators for our students and so getting them to interact with the public um, is wonderful for them and the sooner that we can get them practicing that the more polished, the better, the more competent they're going to be when they um, get out of veterinary school. It kind of depends on which program you're trying to participate in. So the physical exam program, that definitely has to be an extroverted um, dog to participate in that because there's lots of students, you know, hugging and petting and examining and doing all the things. So um, that one for sure has to be a particular kind of animal. For the spay and neuter, uh, just pretty much intact animals that, that need this service provided to them is, is basically what we're looking for with that.